Hey, good morning everyone. Fatty here from Pack Up Punch Traders. Just want to make a quick video lesson going over my loss today and the play that I should have traded that I've been watching and missed. Uh, so let's just dive into it. Pick was my loss. Um, let's see here. I was just looking for a bounce play. Got a weak bounce. Uh, average was 5. Was up a little over 5%. But it just failed. But I see it here holding up and could easily come back. Um, so keep on watch. But I took a loss on it. Potential rebuy on the higher daybreak or it reclaiming VWAP and start uptrending for a higher daybreak to get back to six, maybe low sixes. But that was a disappointing loss. I really thought we were going to get something today with PIK. Uh, just might have mistimed it But for sure something soon like if you take a look Compared to Morning panics and fades today. We got a morning spike So if this thing fails to break down I could see this thing coming back with the low float to really squeeze shorts out um, Another one that was nice that I missed very disappointing. Very, very, very disappointing. Pretty sure it's right out of the watch list. I just kind of took my eye off it this morning because I was really focused on PIK. Um, so let's see here. Let's get into this. So these are my main watches going into the morning. And had it right on the watch list here. Just needed to get some volume and oops. Uh, just took my eye off it and did everything I wanted. I was thinking of the 183 breakout over this area here, over this day um, bounced, set a high of 183. I was looking for that to lead to the 210, 220 breakout to get to three ish. And it got to 288 right below it. Very nice. I would have for sure been out before it would have got to the high twos. Probably would have been out somewhere in the mid twos. Um, but this is a beautiful play. If you miss the first entry, you get the confirmation holding VWAP, holding that 183 break, and you just get a solid move. You get this range between 203 and 187-ish, and it just fails to break down. Volume comes back, and you just get a surge higher. Uh, very disappointing to miss that. Been eyeing it for a couple days now. Did everything I had in mind. Was just not there. So that's very annoying. Uh, LLL. Here for a potential play to watch for a high daybreak for a bounce play. If this thing fails to head lower and make this a solid red day. This thing could come back. It does have a low float. It is decently off the highs where a bunch of shorts are in the sixes so if this thing fails to keep going down they're up roughly 50 percent they might start locking in profit soon and that might lead to a solid move so keep an eye on LLL what else RDBX watching it still had a fake out over 348 but you know relatively low float doing decent volume I wish more volume comes in and starts coming back. We get a view up hold and it takes off for a high daybreak. So this is definitely on watch. We had a solid perk in the morning. But all this fade here on lower volume. So we'll see if volume can come back and it can hold up and get above VWAP, get to 348, get to the high a day, and ideally get I don't know. It's got some decent range. Um, I'll probably be aiming to sell in the mid fours if this works out. Aiming for a dollar. Let's see if that works out. But you know, this thing could easily get back to the high fives if it does hold up. We'll see here. It's not looking great right now. But if we start making higher lows, anything is possible with a float like that. If volume could come back. Uh, KOSS went over this. I was really looking forward for a ten break. I was very disappointed. Did it after hours. Didn't get the chance to trade it. 
um, 13 resistance held and this morning just could not continue just got a gap down uh, not really actually opened a penny higher that's nice but yeah so got a quick bounce weak bounce here and it just gets stuffed still holding up but this trend is not looking good it's not a nice trend I would be more excited as a short if I were a short <clears throat> um, what else is there cells this is another one from the morning I was eyeing this low flow and they're doing my plan pre-market I was looking for that 320 uh, pre-market break if it kept holding up as we saw here I want to open price view up hold reclaim or a pre-market high break to test four and we kind of got that just 10 cents below four got a high of 390 just took off not too much not too um long before the market open and right at the open we got a quick move volume couldn't sustain itself got stuffed at four got a little hold here of the open price but not enough volume to really hold it up and squeeze shorts shorts just took over and this became a lower high so that's not pretty maybe if it comes back to high a day that could really be nice and squeeze shorts out but that's just a waiting game to see if it really gets back there so yeah that's kind of it for now main play was REVB right out of the watch list just should should have focused more on it took a loss on PIK uh, took it from took like a nine cent loss on it yeah it stopped out into this panic got a little bounce which I wish I was in I would have sold into don't really like selling into weakness because uh, you know you could just be patient and wait for the bounce and get a better sell but this thing's looking weak right now if it does fail it's still very early to tell but if it fails to break down this thing could easily be a high daybreak for probably a quick dollar um, yeah that's just disappointing Thought we'd get more. Uh, Rev B just went over it. Very disappointing. Failed to break down. Just a beautiful breakout. Just fantastic. The 183 break and the 190 view up hold here. That was a great entry. This would have been a little hard. Might have got the high a day, but the 210, 220s, I might have been a little speculative about entering, even though it was holding here, but this little choppiness would have kind of been annoying to me uh, but if I was already in I would have been a little patient through it since I would already be up but yeah and then it just takes off volume goes off and it goes parabolic all the shorts get squeezed and from there you just get the backside move couldn't sustain the volume and the price so this is what you get when all the shorts are out it's just gonna reverse the other way <clears throat> if it fails to break down obviously because there are going to be shorts in there but when the majority of the sh shorts are out and there's not enough buyers to keep holding it up we're gonna get a reversal and you can see that with the volume instantly you got a solid candle here they maintained it for another minute got overextended and just fail to continue that so just keep an eye on the volume and the trend and really keep it that simple volume flow trend see if there's a catalyst uh but yeah so right now still eyeing rdbx main watch low volume still holding up but yeah it's a disappointing day you can hear in my voice but if this thing could turn around, it's still early, any play could pop up, hopefully I'm not too emotional to trade them, but yeah, so that's kind of the morning today, took a dumb loss on PIK, thought we'd get a better bounce, um, and that is kind of it, let's see here, let's pick up DPRO, DPRO, I don't know if I went over it, I forgot if I did, but 
we're off the highs here and it's failing to crack the low twos and it's starting to bounce. Um, potential bounce play here to get back to the high twos, maybe three-ish. If it fails to break down and keep holding the mid twos, is that could be a momentum shift. Shorts might start covering, locking in profits. That might lead to a nice move. So we'll see. Uh, but main watch right now, RDBX, just a waiting game, seeing if it comes back, and ideally volume comes back. And yeah, so we've got a breakout play there. Besides that, deep PRO, potential bounce play. There's another one, LLL, potential bounce play if this fails to break down. If not today, tomorrow, I'll be eyeing this for a bounce play. So, yeah, uh, it's very nice that it's a low float. So, yeah, we'll just leave it there. Just about 11 minutes now. So, hope everyone's had a great morning. Still early. Could turn your day around. Could make it better. Or at least take a lesson away from today. So, yeah, everyone has a great day.